Bows. 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 Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit. You like big that, shit, huh? Big shit, big shit. Going huh. down. Name another podcast. Like, like this. Who gonna bring it to the table? <laughs> Boss Talk. Who your girl? Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with. The lovely official Miss Jamaica. Yeah, 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 my dad. Hey, what's going on? Nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing. Nothing. Say, man. So we got a special guest, man. Hey, man, this guy come through, man. He been supporting my business since day one, man. He always rocked out with me. He, hey, you see the big chain game? Look, I'm, I'm giving it away right now. I got the big chain on, man. Say, check it, man. My boy Dre is in the building, man. What up? What up? What up? Say, man, Dre, what's going on, man? That much, man. Say, man, tell me about what's been going on with the, with the DeRoe Entertainment. Yeah, DeRoe Entertainment. Um, I'm Dre DeRoe. Um, DeRoe Entertainment. I do a lot of promotions around uh, DFW, particularly the Addison area. Okay. Um, so we're doing, we doing concerts, you know. We're promoting different spots. Okay. Um, number one thing, I always pushing my change, you know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Chain Gang. Shout out to Big Chain Gang. Dre, Dre is the uh, uh, CEO of Big Chain Gang. Yes, sir. Yeah, and y'all always wonder why I be wearing this Big Chain. Y'all seen me wear it before. A lot of people that rock the mic, I put it on. Yeah, Big Chain Gang. It's serious, baby. Yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, 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 yeah. So so how did you come up with this? I came up with it, man. My wife put one together for me, man, uh, about two years ago. Okay. Everybody thought it was goofy when it first start, when it first hit the yeah, scene. Yeah, they like you know what I'm saying. Wearing that big yeah, chain for exactly, them. exactly. So I would wear them to the nightclubs, and people would ask to take a picture with them. So I let somebody wear them, and they end up stealing it, not giving it back. Damn. So my, wow. so my wife she'll do another one. And next week, somebody will take a picture with it, and I give it back. So I told my wife, I said, I think I got something on this, because if everybody taking them from it, it's it, something it got going a value on. to it. Exactly. Exactly. So, so the big chain game thing took off for you, cause I, I got one, you know, I hurry up and got me one. So, but but when I first seen them, it was when I came over your house for that Super Bowl party. I remember that, and I was like, damn, these nigga got a chain. I said, who these nigga walk? This big nigga, two or three nigga walk through with the chain. I ain't got no. Chain. I felt kind of like my partner. Shout out to Greed. He felt the same way today yeah. when he came through. He didn't have his chain. He went on got him, got one. him one. Nigga, you ain't in the group if you ain't got a chain with the big, big chain, chain game. Big yeah. chain game. <laughs> For real, for real. Say so. So what? Uh, what's the what? What's the thing that, that, that with the Duro Entertainment? What's going on with that? Like, well, like, like, what is it? The Duro Entertainment is uh, me and my wife and a couple of our partners get together and we throw parties around Dallas Fort Worth. Okay, you know what I'm saying. We hit different spots, but uh, Duro Entertainment is like it's part of the big chain game. You know what I'm saying? But it's entertainment under that because I do space tournaments, we do concerts. We do game nights. We do all that. So can you tell me just, because let's go back. Because when, when, when I first, the, the dibs on you go way back. Oh, yeah. I want to just give the people a little bit of what you've done around the Dallas area. Things that you've been associated with. Things that you guys, clubs that you guys have owned and okay. pushed throughout the times. Let's go back. All right. Well, <clears throat> the first club I did was in 1999, man. Okay. I, was a, uh, I got in the club business by being a valet parker. Okay. At a, a club called... Bay Bays. Bay Bays. I remember Bay Bays, the strip club. Yeah, after strip they, club. They had the, they had the, uh, it- can I, it was gay night over there sometime. Yep. I remember, it. Yep. and then it had like the hey, it was where I, I used to frequent that spot. Yep. yep, that was that was a long time ago, yep. man. That was before I met you. Mm-hmm. That was a uh, 99 Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I had yeah. this uh, one girl. She had short blonde hair. I never forget her. That was a long time ago, <laughs> Steph. That was before you. <laughs> Yeah. No, you used to have it bumping in there though, y'all. I I did. And we didn't know each other at the time. No, we didn't. I we was did. just in there because yep, it was right. a po- hot spot to go in North Dallas. Right. So it was right off of right yeah, off of Greenville and right Lovers. off Greenville and Lovers. It yep. was a hot spot, and yep. I was like, "Dang, man!" Yep. I said, "Man, boy, this thing jumping. These niggas make some money out here." Yep. So yep. what is the toughest part of dealing with that type of business? Because we're gonna get into the next one, but mm-hmm. Steph, just the, the entertainment business on the whole. What um, get your little get your little juice. With that industry, man, you got to deal with a lot of hate. A lot of hate from who? Just <laughs> boyfriends, girlfriends. Oh, yeah, just yeah, just, just the whole lime life yeah, coming through. Yeah. What's the craziest thing you've seen happen at Bay Bay's back in the day um, during that time? Come on with it. Somebody getting killed in the parking lot. Somebody got you killed in y'all. How many people got killed in that parking lot? Man, at least, a lot. At least three. 
Did the city try to come down on y'all when it happened? Uh, well, they did. Uh, remember, I was just a valet park. You was a yeah. valet. Uh, yeah, I was a valet guy. They used to call me Valet Dre. That's what. <laughs> valet that was, Dre. That get was it my popular. name. That was my name. But a lot of stuff used to pop off. You know what I'm saying in the, in the parking lot. I thought that was one that y'all owned, but y'all didn't own no, that. No, we didn't own it. I got my start from there okay. as a valet. As okay. a valet. Yeah. But then y'all owned. Uh, uh, yeah, we did uh, Ebony Eyes. Ebony Eyes, yeah, y'all yeah. own that off Commonwealth, which I, that's Heroes now. Yes, yeah, Heroes. Mm-hmm. And, that um, was his club. Yeah. Okay. And the guy that owned Heroes used to be my DJ. Okay. Sport. At, 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 that, at, that, at that spot? At that spot. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. he, he understand that building real well. Exactly. 3094 North Stemmons Freeway. <laughs> I know it. I put the palm trees out there. You did? And then my big brother, those palm, palm trees palm out tree. there? I love those we put palm them, trees. We put those out there. Wow. So, yeah. so when y'all own that club, what was the biggest... Uh, uh, the biggest thing with that club versus the other club. The biggest thing with that one so far is that like the city came down on us because they wouldn't give us our SOB license because okay. when we got it, we didn't we didn't understand that you got to be a thousand feet away from where kids congregate. Okay, mm-hmm. so if you notice behind there, it's a residence. It is. I, I think it it's is. called Arlington Park or something like yeah. that. Yeah, okay. the railroad tracks. So they let us operate for about three years before we had to just um, end up getting rid of it. You know, what I'm okay, because. Uh, Laura Miller, she was a mayor. She the one came in and changed all the laws back in the early 2000s. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Somebody said she called her husband in one of the <laughs> spots, and so she came down hard on the, the, uh, the strip clubs. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. So, it, it, But it was convenient. It was right there by downtown, so you can get in and out of downtown when you need it. Oh, definitely, right off the highway. Yeah, yeah. So I came up with that name, man. Um, I want to... Actually, it's me and my brother. Ebony shout, Eyes. Shout out, shout out to my big brother. Rodney. I talked to him. He posted a bit on the show. Yeah. Rodney. We talked about that last year when I shut the show down, yeah. actually. But yeah. My, my big brother, man, he's like a father to me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. he was the money behind it. I was only the face and the, the, the mouthpiece of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But he let me run, operate everything. Yeah, yeah. I remember you know that now. Yeah. So um, tell you how I came up with the name of it. Um, we, we had an office in Memphis. We used to do cell phones. Okay. And so... In Memphis, we used to go to the strip club called Ebony Lace. Ebony and, Lace. And if anybody been to Memphis, they know where that's at, right? Okay. So me and my brother's like, man, let's do our own club, but we want to do a club for people to know that it's for us and by us. Okay. So we sat around the table, and I came up with the name. I said, Ebony Eyes. Ebony Eyes. He said, perfect. Then we, every time we shut down at the end of the night, we play Rick James, Ebony Eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody know it's time to go. Yeah, that's hot. That's hot. That's yep. hot. So, uh, new uh, new ventures. What what what's going on with with Dre and these new ventures? I would, let's bring it. We're gonna we're gonna fast forward. Cause, okay. Because that club was jumping. Now, I ain't gonna trip. That wasn't as good as Bay Bay's to me now. But they ain't the only one we did. We did. Yeah, Dom- I did another one. We did Diamonds Cabaret. Where was Diamonds Cabaret? At? Sit right behind Beamers, right behind Park Avenue. I know exactly. They call that Cabaret North South. and South. Yeah, we sold it to them. You, you sold it to them. Yeah, we sold it to I them. I didn't know that. Yeah, this was a back. That in. was over there where I went to get that Cadillac that day mm-hmm. and that little club right there. Okay, yep. go ahead. That was when, what you was about to say? Yeah, that was uh, 2010, 2011, 12, 13. Yeah. And, and so what What was the ins and outs of that one? That one was, um, it was BYOB. So we, whenever you get a BYOB, you already expecting drama that's going to go with it. What, what comes with the BYOB versus having your uh, um, liquor license? BYOB is people are already drunk. You know what I'm saying? When they come, and, they drunk. And we we only making twenty dollars at the door versus somebody getting drunk at your establishment and they spending a lot of mo- and they spending a lot of money with you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying at the bar, it just it just comes with a certain. But but I always like that one because you know that that in Texas you know everything shows when you when you be wild. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, it's totally new. It's wide open. Yeah, it's, it's totally new. It's it's totally new. That's the good part about but it. But when you have liquor, they have to be topless. Top, just yeah, you got to be topless or, yeah, you okay. know, have liquor. Yeah, so Ebony Oz was, we had a liquor license, so they were only can be topless there. But, yeah. Uh, Diamonds Cabaret, they were totally new. What about? So how many other ones did you have after that? That's it. That's it? Yeah, those are only two. I want to do it. I had you a thinking lot about of, doing another one? I had a lot of opportunities. Like, even to this day, people be like, bro, you need to do another one. But I'm married now, so. So at that time you weren't married. Oh no, no, I only been married three years. Three years. Yeah. So now my wife. Now I got to think about what she think about. Oh yeah, yeah. You got to be respectful. Yeah, yeah. You got to be respectful to the to the fact of what she how she's going to take dealing with that, or maybe get another somebody else to manage it. But it won't run the same as if you're not married. Exactly. Yeah. That's because I noticed even with the big chain gang, you keep mentioning that she helps you with this and she helps. I I assume that any venture that you are now about to venture into you would have her being a big part of it yeah i will and and we had me and her had to talk because 
I told her this when that's just human nature. When you when your status grow, it could cause a conflict. You know what I'm saying? Because it's gonna be more women. Right. You know what I'm saying? More money, more problems is what they say. That, no, that's the truth. Right, because yeah. even with a big chain gang, you get a lot of publicity, a lot of attention. Exactly. And how is she dealing with that right now, even well, with just that? Uh, I had to talk to her about some stuff because I kind of educated her on this. When this blow up, it's, we got to make sure we keep our foundation because, uh, you know, more money. Peop, women think I got money. They go come out to me. Guys know you my wife. They go come try to come out to you to get to me. You know what I'm saying? So we got a good understanding about it. She just, she's a country girl. And so now this is kind of new to her, you know? So, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah but that's, that's a good thing, though, that you got you a stumped down country girl. Uh, what part yeah. of the country? Uh, she's from Colorado. Colorado, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, she, she, oh, she smoked that weed up there. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah, we know about that weed in butt. Colorado. Butt, yeah. so all them smoke. edibles, all them edibles. Yeah, yeah I think yeah, she's from yeah. a small town called Seabird, and all I know is she her graduating class was 10, 10 people. Dang, oh, that's small. <laughs> Very that's small. Said. Yeah, yep. Wow. Yeah, that is crazy. So, what's the what's the thing that 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 drives you to keep you opening business and pushing to, to do these do new ventures? What 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 makes Dre tick? It just it's fun to me. It's fun. I noticed man. that you really love people. I yeah. when I was over your house, I seen all the people how they came out yeah. and how they loved to be around yeah. you. And and I loved the energy and the food was great. Oh, Shout out to that nigga that made Chef the Bujo, wings over he there. He just called me Chef too. Bujo, Chef Bujo, yeah. You tell that nigga he can't be my wife cooking, nigga. And you let that nigga yeah. know I want to do a little old cook off with him. Yeah, he he just called me. He but I did tell him I was gonna work with him. You did. Yeah, you I want to do something with you him. You did. You know what? That's awesome, man. Because he's a good guy. Um, He's Ricky Smiley's uh, chef as yeah, well. Yeah, that's his chef. Yeah, he's on his show, on Ricky Smiley's show. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, he just called me he when real, I pulled up. He real cool, man. Yeah, from real New cool Orleans. Cat. Yeah, yeah, real cool cat. That's good. Mm -hmm. You hadn't met him yet, no. but, I, you know, I, you know, I'm talking that talk. He ain't, I want to put them wings, put your wings on this side like Pimp C <laughs> say, and put our wings on this side and see whose wings is the best. You right, know what I'm talking right, about? Right, Yeah. Yeah, he was saying that at the house. Yeah, said. yeah, yeah. We ain't playing no games. Right on. You know what I'm saying? But I enjoyed that, man. You guys, you had TVs outside, TVs inside. Yep. You guys, everybody was vibing. Wasn't no crazy stuff going on. Everybody was just doing their thing, man. And I love the fact that Dre was the one that, you know, orchestrated it. Yeah. He invited me. I, I mean, my brother, he always showed mm -hmm. my family love. Mm -hmm. And that, I don't. I, it's just sometimes people click. My nephew's got a gig right now because you helped him to get into it. Exactly. So, man, you know, they're in Miami right now. Yeah. You know, they done flew to Miami yesterday, man. Stevie going to ask me, like, well, I got to call my kids, see what they're doing. I said, you ain't got to call them. I hit that Instagram and hit that storyline. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they just left the airport. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? They post they everything. They posting everything. Right. But right. they don't, They should. They're young and they don't have no reason. They don't, they're not into anything that's going to put them in the No, nah, they're good way. kids, man. Real good, good kids, kids, right? Man. Yeah, that's that's a yeah. blessing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm glad I ain't having it. My son, all of them, they good, good, good kids. Good people. Good that's, men now. Exactly. I say kids, but they grown now. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. True. So, so what's the what like what's the next thing? What's the what's the next thing for Dre? Uh, next Give thing. Give it up, nigga. Don't man, try get, to hold back. Hey man, we getting ready to take this big chain gang thing on the road, man. We got some trips coming up, man. Where? We're going to Miami. We're going I'll to take New Orleans. To Miami. Yeah, Miami, New Orleans, uh, uh LA. Okay. And um my wife, she putting all this stuff together, but yeah, we finna take it to the, on the road. Y'all going on the, on the tour? On the tour, man, because she just got back from Miami with her chain on. She said, everybody. I got to get my wife how on. Many, how many chains are you selling a month? A month? I'm probably doing about 2,000 a month. That's, That's good. Awesome. 2,000 chains a month. That's good. And Do if the, somebody wanted to get a chain, purchase one and have it shipped, maybe they're not in Texas, they can get that done? Yeah, we we online also, so they can just go to our web. Uh, uh, I don't know if it's a website, but it's on Facebook and Facebook Instagram. Facebook for sure. What is I your see Facebook it all. And Instagram? Um, it's on my car. It's the row, ain't it? Yeah, no, it's not nice Dre. I've seen one said Big Chain Gang. Yeah, he yeah, got two or three of them. Yeah, Big Chain Gang 2020. Yeah, not your personal. That's that's big that's Chain Gang 2020. On Instagram, right. then on Facebook, it's just Big Chain Gang. But okay. but I got a, um, a link on her on Facebook that you can click if you want to buy them wherever you're at. Really? Okay. Yeah. That's hot, man. So mm -hmm. And a lot of people buy them online? 
Oh, not really. Not like you. Not, not like really. Because it ain't nothing like when you see. Yeah, you see you that nigga got one. Soon as you, soon as you, I can't, I said nigga get you a big chain. You, you can't go. come on the on the platform. Look there at that nigga. Look at the chain I leaning on him right there. Right, right. Shout out to Greg. Got his big chain today. We big chain that nigga. I've been at mine for about a but about three months. Yeah. That nigga just got his chain, <laughs> nigga. And, and I don't the lights, want, And the lights still going. No, you because know. yeah, because I don't I don't burn them out all the time. But, you know, but they rechargeable I, though. They are. Oh, yeah, they, they if you. If they uh, get dim, just yeah. cut it off and um and they'll be back up rolling. Top. Really? Yeah. Oh, let me give good. you let me let me tell you an example. So we had this big Halloween party at my house, right? And I had a scarecrow sitting outside, and I put a chain on them on my front porch and turned the lights on. Forgot to turn them off, and two months later, I came back and still was blinking. Wow, wow. that's hot. That's hot. That's hot, man. So. The big chain game got definitely changed that don't stop blinking. You niggas want to be fly? You better get you a big chain like me because I've been had my big chain, nigga, and it's real over here. I ain't playing no games. Right on. You know what I'm saying? We, it, we, we, we've we been pushing these big chains with Dre ever since he brought them out. We rocking with them. You got to get you yeah, a big chain, man. Yeah, you got to get me. Man, get her a chain, I got man. You don't have a, yeah. You I got don't have they a, on it come and go? No, nah, I got the colorful ones. Yeah. The rainbow yeah, kind, yeah, the silver yeah, kind. Yeah, we got to get a big oh, chain. Man. And I, before I leave, I want to make sure. Now I move to the glasses, the rocket glasses that light up. Really, I move to those. So I'm gonna give y'all one before I leave. I about, I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Cause we gonna sponsor them here on the show. <laughs> give me the box back, nigga. I gotta he reveal gonna do this. A unpack. Nigga, I'm bo- unboxing this home, man. It. Yeah, let's go. Nigga. We already ready, nigga. So the camera's flowing. Let's do this, man. So we got the yeah, yeah, yeah. So what we got here, Dre? Uh, lick. What what is this? The activated glass. Yes, yeah, activated glass. Um, I call it the number one party glass of DFW. Hey you know man, you know what man? It, it just it feels right because yeah. you 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 really rock out. You yep. know what I'm saying? You deal with the party life. You yep. know what I'm That's, saying? Yes, so this here just fits. You know yep. what I'm saying? Got a little button on the bottom of it. Yep. Got three you know stages. Three stages. Uh huh. Yeah, just in case you three. niggas don't see three me, nigga. Down. Yeah, this mine. Oh. This for me. Yep. Surrounder and a blinker. Yep. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Don't get it twisted, nigga. You, if you ain't, you some niggas can't really hold a cup like this. You know what I'm saying? You, <laughs> you right. niggas is really y'all not even hip enough to do this. This here, <laughs> you gotta have your, your nigga. You ain't fly. You can't hold this one. So oh. let me ask you a question. So yes. with using this, right? Uh huh. When you finish using it and you wash it, does the battery get affected waterproof. or anything? What everything's it's waterproof. waterproof. It's waterproof. Yeah. It's waterproof. Okay, I just want to make sure. And how long does is this rechargeable as well? That's not rechargeable. And how long does the battery last? We don't know yet. We just getting started. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> uh, I don't know how long it lasts, but I've been doing it for about six months. And okay. Yeah, yeah, and so. they've been going for six so months. You have we know they last six that months. Shout out to niggas who got a cup with lights Actually, on. Uh, this is the one I use at home. I just carry it around with me all the time. You see my okay. cup? And you put the battery and you see it the light? hasn't gone yep. out yet. Just in case you don't know. And I wash it and everything. Okay, awesome. Big chain game with the lights. Just in case niggas don't know, you can get fly even after COVID. I had just a, so you niggas know that. I, I had a good friend of mine ask me. He says, he's a good guy, so he didn't mean any disrespect. He said, man, this chain thing is popping. What you going to do when it play out? I said, as long as you got drunk people in the club, it ain't going <laughs> to play out. Because they love the lights. Right. They're attracted to lights. Like a deer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. a fly. People that drink. Mm-hmm. And it's multicultural. I get just as many white folks get them than black people. Awesome. Yeah. What yep. about what about them little Asians? Do they like them? Oh yeah, they really love them. Yeah, them little yeah, Asians yeah, look yeah, like they really like them. I like yeah, you know them really little like Asians will wear a bape and just wear your chain right on top yeah. of a bape shirt. Yeah, yeah they, you know they, what they I'm really talking about. Them. Yeah, but it takes it takes a it takes a special type of person to push something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like when I first started, I could have been discouraged. You know what I'm saying? But even my wife was like. Why are you wearing that? You know, I'll go to the comedy show because I want the comedian to talk about me. So oh, I walk yeah? in. Yeah, I walk Bruce, Bruce and I, I walk in with three or four chains. I sit at the front. I make sure I get the front table. The front table. <laughs> now they're talking about me. So now I got comedians Publicity. saying they want me to come to their show so they can fit it in their show. Right. Wow. Publicity. That's hustling, that's publicity man. for you. There you go. Yep. That's, that's smart. what it was. That's, that's it. So who, who who tried to dab on you the first time? He didn't even realize what he what he was getting himself caught up into. Uh that's uh Bruce Bruce. What did he say? He just I can't even remember, but it was a couple years ago and he was just like, "Man, who is this dude with the, you know, with the lights on?" This, this nigga here want to be seen. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that. we got this nigga tonight. Now they talking you know about me. Look at the nigga with all these chains on with the little neck. You know what I'm talking about? At the end of the night. 
the end of the night. Oh. How many did you sell yeah. at the end of the oh, night? Oh man, I sold about thirty at this show. At the end of the night. See that? At the Just improv. Because of that. There Just it is, right there. Yeah. You need to go to every single improv show. Exactly. <laughs> nigga, I might need to try to. We talking. need to talk exactly. after the cameras off so I can get in on this. Nigga, I want to get in on the chain gang. Okay. Thing. Now, okay. Time, I was at Vanetti's um a couple of weeks ago and a guy approached me because I had my chain on in Vanetti's. Yeah. So now I got Steve Nice. I got all the DJs shot me out. Whatever club I go to. Big chain game in the building. Big chain game in the building. Big chain game so in the building. Patron, uh, uh, Vanetti. Well, you know, they ain't going to shout out Boss Talk, too, when I go. If I decide to walk up in that thing. Right, right. The Boss Hotaway. Talk 101. I want to give yeah. a shout out to the Hotaway. Hotaway. The Hotaway and shout Taco out to the Patron, Hotaway. And which one? And, which me one? So and who else? Love. Uh, Taco, Taco Patron, Patron. And Taco Patron. the Hotaway. Okay. They showed me so much love, bro. Like, I'm always indebted to them. Like, they, they hooked me up, man. Do like, you ever real. leave your house and not wear it? Not really, but like I put I posted this the other day on my uh, page. When people see me without it, they act like I was supposed to be wearing it like seven days a week, right? <laughs> so I went out and uh, Taco Tuesday, Taco, uh, Taco Patron, with Taco Tuesday, and everybody was like, "Where your chain? Where your chain?" I said, "I can't right. be big chain gang seven days a week." They want it, you know what I'm saying? They want they it though. Want it. it was like, man, you. Then I would go into a place and nobody would have their chain on. Then I put mine on. Then everybody go get their. They go get their car, chain. Yeah, and everybody got. You their see, chain. you see, my nigga had to go yep. look at my nigga. Yep. My nigga Greg <laughs> had to get his chain. Shout out to ever, Greg in the big chain game now. With a new one, like a newer version of your chain. He did. I think he did. I did. I came out with the logo. I got the uh, the logo okay. to it. Big Chang Gang Big logo Chang. to it. I mean, but, can I add the logo to this or no? I had to yeah, just yeah. buy on the- No, no, you can add it. You can just get the logo. I put the logo on a on a. I got to order them. Okay, my okay. guy makes them for me. Yeah, it's a, it's a plaque. That's what it is. It's, it's a, a plaque. plaque wow. In case you niggas don't know, and it's not heavy. No, nah, it's not heavy at all. Can wow. you get Ball heavy. Talk One Hundred One on my plaque? Yeah, that's what I need. Okay, give me one. And, yeah, in case I want to stun on these niggas. I got on you. my platform because these niggas. Will, I want these niggas to feel me. Yep, <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> and the setup is awesome, man. Thank like, you, man. Really I mean, awesome. we try. I mean, a lot of people been seeing it. You've been seeing us online. We coming. Yep. The numbers is growing. Our, our subscribers is growing up. We trying to get to ten thousand. We had almost three thousand. And we y'all can it. help us. So y'all okay. need to. Yeah, hit yeah. That Everybody need to know. Hit that, yeah, hit that. Yeah, hit that like and subscribe, subscribe button because at the end of the day, you guys know. We putting out good footage. Who can name anyone that got a big chain on on a plat podcast? You niggas ain't got no big chain on on your podcast, and you know it. You, you better try to get like us because we in Dallas, Texas, with the big chain gang Facts. supporting us. And guess what? We sponsored by the big chain gang, Facts. and y'all don't even know it. Chain yeah. been here ever since I started the show. It's been right there at all times. Ain't you it? can reach for it. Yeah, every time I want it. As soon as I seen him coming, I put my chain on. Big fan. Y'all seen that, didn't you? Big chain, and it's the first time he came in here. I was doing it when he wasn't in here, right? So I ain't just stunned. I, I'm, I'm with the big chain gang, just in case y'all niggas didn't know we letting it be known today. Facts, yeah. And every rapper that come in here trying to spit their bars, I'm gonna put this big chain on and I'm gonna judge him. Right on, right on, <laughs> <laughs> right on. And you better come ready, nigga, because the big chain gang gonna see it. And then, nigga, it's a big chain gang movement. They're gonna be like, no, nah, she ain't with the big, or he ain't with the big chain gang. Right on. So, you got the glass, you got the chain. What's next? I don't know what I'm gonna do with this glass yet, but I'm gonna do something with I'm it. I'm gonna be using this glass. And I'm gonna all be honest with you. Shout out to Master and P, because this ain't the first time I'm gonna support black people. I'm about to do a show with Master P as well, with them rap snacks and with them with them Roman noodles awesome. and with them magnetti. So I'm gonna start doing stuff for black people right here on this platform for nothing. Awesome. You don't gotta give me nothing. I'll still I'm gonna buy some money, I'm gonna buy y'all product and then I'm gonna set y'all product in here because I love y'all. Right. Oh, on, hold on. Right I'm on. gonna tell you this is the glass, Shamaria, Shamaria, look at this glass real good. Uh oh. Do not touch Uh-oh. it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Look at this glass real I'm good. I'm you right now. <laughs> and, and you, can, very quick and you and my baby girl, so you can use mine. You yeah, use his. That. Don't use mine. <laughs> don't play by that. Right Let her go and do her thing. But you got a glass with me. And right this on. is going to be used all the time. And yeah. I'm going to have to have my pinky finger out when I'm drinking. Yeah, you have to. <laughs> you have to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. So so what's next? What's next? You going to get the blinking uh, uh, a belt? Oh, you, you know, know what? what? You started with the mushroom. You, you don't remember boomerang. You know? <laughs> Shout out to Jennifer too, man. Jennifer um, Morris, a good friend of mine. Okay, um, she contacted me. She had some more stuff that she's like do belts and purses with the chain. You know, yeah. It's she just gonna freak it out. Yeah, it's it's, it's a lot of. But stuff. But you got to give it time for it to 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 
what should I say? To advertise one item, you can't come out with. You don't want to confuse everybody. Yeah, that's true. You, one. you that's want to true. wait, let it have its longevity first. That's true. And then come out with the next. Thing. That's true. dope, man. I'm but so a, glad you came, man. God, we didn't plan this, y'all. Just in case yeah. y'all didn't know, yep. we just show up and go in. We don't care. That's this true. Is, he family. We've been talking about it on the phone for the longest. Yep. Though. That's we true. always. I call him, or he called my brother, or somebody called somebody. We end up talking about the big chain game. Yep. What's going on in the city with my boy? He's a black entrepreneur. In the Dallas, Texas area, just like myself and my right. wife, and exactly. and and we 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 like we we like spirits, you know. Exactly. Our spirits marinate exactly. because we we like to get money. Exactly. In case y'all didn't know, Fact. shout out to Milwaukee people who watching in the background. We trying to give them the game. Right. Yeah. Right. So tell me, Dre, Dre. I need to know your top three artists of all, all time. time. Dead, dead or alive. Top three. My top any three. Any genre. All any genre. Dead or alive. Pick three different Only people. Only three. Number one. R B hip hop. It don't matter to me. It's your top three. Let me tell you what I listen to then. Okay. I ain't tripping. Just okay. tell, just give me the artist. Scarface. Okay. Hey man, Scarface. Hey man, shout out to Brad Jordan, nigga. This nigga from Texas, Scar- nigga. Say, man. Yeah, respect Texas, man. <laughs> don't, don't get Real. don't get it twisted. I think the boy went to Samuel, so I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Shout out to Scarface, man. Scarface is what I listen to. Devin the dude. Devin the dude. That's number two. Who is Devin? Devin the dude. The boy Fleetwood just said he out of Houston. Out of Devin the dude. He was and he he helped. Shout out to Devin the dude for going up there and helping dog pound back in the day, nigga. You coming yeah. on the show too? Right yeah, on. yeah. Yeah. So that's two. And two. That's, what, that's what I listen to. Dev and the dude. And, and give me the third one. Uh, the third one. So we got Scarface, Dev and the dude. And um, let me see. The third. Got to be Lil Kiki. Man, I love this nigga, man. Come on, man. Texas Kiki, coming man. through every Gotta spot. Be Lil Kiki. See, that's what I'm talking about. See, this is a yeah. real stomp down Texas nigga right here. He yes, didn't sir. say Pimp C, which is my favorite, UGK. But I can say he named the top ones that I, I can respect you because I know that you ain't going by what the masses say. You going by what your ear exactly. hear and what moves you. Yep. And I like that. That's, that's what I listen I, to. That's to be respected, that's man. That's what I listen to. That's to be respected. See, mm-hmm. see, most niggas come in here, they want to say, oh, uh, Michael Jackson. Uh, 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 Eddie Murphy. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Anything that everybody else is appealing yeah. to. Yeah, yep. yep. And, that, and that that right there tell me they ain't they ear. You didn't hear his third when he said Lil Kiki. You don't know who that is. He said <laughs> Southside, the Southside. Yeah, Kiki the Southside. Yep. Chunking yes, up the deuce, that's yeah. The first well, time yeah, we had a yeah. It don't Kiki. matter, nigga. Yep. He never in there. Had that, yeah, Kiki yeah. That's my hand. guy yep. right there. Yep. Lil Kiki, shout out to Lil Kiki. We won't get you on Boss Talk One Hundred and One. I'm actually gonna tag you in this, nigga. You need to be on here. Oh, shout right. out to Lil Kiki. Yes, sir. Yeah. So Lil Kiki was what? What, what stood out about uh, Jordan? Brad Jordan. What? What did you like when he when when that nigga would say do 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 do. Do, 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 do. What was it? Or was it just, was it uh, ghetto fantasy? Ghetto fantasy. Nah, he's just a lyricist, yeah, man. Yeah, like, see, see, I rock with Texas. Yeah, he, he be on some real what stuff, was man. It? What was it? I never seen a man cry until I, I seen, seen a man, man die. I like that. Exactly. You know what I'm talking that about? Yeah, yeah. Dad, that was my, rest in peace to my dad, but that was his favorite song. Wow. wow. You yeah. know what I'm saying? See, yeah. see, stuff like this is real. I like yep. this is a good show. Yep. It's getting better and better as we go right definitely, now. Definitely. Now you say, now who was your number two? Uh, Devin the Dude. Devin the Dude. Devin. And Devin the dude had a DeVille. In my now seven DeVille. Yep. Yeah, nigga, don't play. Yep. Yeah, yeah, he had a DeVille. And then the in the Y'all bathroom. don't remember that, do you? No. Yeah, go look it up, nigga. The nigga had a heck of a song. Don't make me play it, nigga. Right, I wake right. you niggas up around here. I love Devin, man. Devin, Devin the Devin dude. Be- he was he did some stuff with Snoop Dogg back in the day when so they did. Yeah. And, and and Dr. Dre yep. on that dog pound on yep. that era. He was in the mist with them. Yep. So yep. he been rocking. And now my boy Fleetwood came from Oakland, uh, California last week. They got some short films they just done together oh, that's really? about to come out. Yeah, okay. we got some good people coming through that's here that's rec- working and working with the people you speaking about right now. That's you know, what's up. So I got, uh, uh, I'm trying to get Steve-O on here. It's, it's a cat that's connected to a lot of people in Houston. I'm working on trying to get the right players in the right places, man. Right on. So yeah, yeah, shout out to that guy, man. We've been, we've been trying to get the right people in here, man. It matters. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, the boy name is the one I'm trying to get on here, Black Card Steve-O. He be Steve-O. rocking with all the Houston people. So, you know, I'm trying I to know get the, Steve-O, but I don't know if that's the is same Is he out one. of Houston? Nah, he here. Okay, now nah, this black okay. car is Steve-O. Oh, it's, okay. it's a few of them, but okay. not, nothing like him. That, gotcha. that boy out of Houston, he rocking with whoever coming through Houston. So I'm trying to link with him, man. Gotcha. And, and it's going to happen. It's gotcha, going to happen. Man. I got people in the inside working with it. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's what you need. So if you, you know, what 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 do you say to people that 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 want to inspire, aspire to be entrepreneurs like yourself? What do you say to 
to help them to try to understand the algorithm of trying to change their life? Well, what would I say to him? Yeah, the young man that he's he's eighteen, nineteen. He wanna he wanna he wanna do something. He wanna get a he wanna own a business. He wanna own clubs. He wanna do yeah. things. I would say just um just believe in yourself, you know, because everybody don't have the same structure as I had when I was growing up. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, just just believe in yourself. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If you want to do it, go do it. Was you your dad know. a businessman like that? Or? No, my dad wasn't even in my life. Okay, well, was your what what, what was it? Who who my, did you get your my business? mentor? My mentor is your brother. Was my big brother. Okay, but he who helped a, him? He did. He got it out the mud by himself. Whoa, wow. d- whoa. Yeah, yeah. Let me give you a background on my brother. Was a DPD. He was a police officer. He was a police officer. Yeah, yeah. I come from Dixon. I come from South Dallas Dixon Circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know Dixon. Dixon. Shout out That's, to Dixon Circle. Yeah, Larry yeah. Johnson yeah, was Larry from over Johnson, there too. Yeah, and my nigga, yeah. Uh, yeah. I had a couple of partners yeah. over there. Was in yeah. the in the in in them streets. So so growing up, we wasn't even supposed to make it. You know what I'm saying? I had a single parent mom, five kids. You know, nobody been to prison. Nobody was killed. So my um. My brother was like a father figure. My brother okay. ten years older than me. You know what I'm saying? So my brother went to the military and sent all his checks back to take her, help my mama out to, to raise. Wow, it's it's five siblings. Five, yeah, yeah, five siblings. So uh, he came back and uh, joined the police department. You know what I'm saying? Which was odd because we stayed in South Dallas, and you a police officer in in South Dallas. You okay. know what I'm saying? So after that, you know, he um, got his own mortgage company. And we just start flipping, start flipping houses, start flipping houses that led to the club stuff. So okay, so yes, y'all sir. start flipping houses that led to the club. Yes, sir. Yes, that's sir. what's up. So, yes, so uh, do you think that uh, do you do you think that that your brother you you ever tell him you tell him hey man I appreciate everything. Oh yeah, all the time. Me. My brother like my best friend. You know what I'm saying. So both the, we're, we're a close family. You okay, know what I'm saying yeah. So my brother like my best friend, man. So that's what's up, man. I know y'all love y'all mama dearly. Oh yeah, that's my baby right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I see, I see the love. I feel the love. I wish oh, I yeah. had my mom. Yeah, I'm a mama's boy, man. Yeah, for yeah, real. yeah, yeah. I yeah. love the way y'all y'all vibe out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yes, um, um, what what else you got for my boy Dre, man? Nothing else. Dre, man, we appreciate yeah, you for finally making it to Boss Talk 101 to share the big chain game experience Thank with us. Thank you for having me. You know Thank what I'm saying? We appreciate you for all the clubs, the strip clubs you opened up in Dallas, uh, from Ebony Eyes to uh, uh, what's the other one? Diamonds Diamond, Cabaret. Diamond, Diamonds yes, Cabaret, and that yes, other one over there. Uh, Bay Bay's Bay Bay's back in the day where you valet. where you started as the valet. Yep, valet. Shout Dre. out to Dre, valet oh, really? Dre. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Say, man, Boss Talk 101, man. Thank you for having me. Yes, sir. Uh,